Hello and welcome. I'm Marius van der Westhuizen and this is the beginner's course on GIMP. Now I strongly believe that everyone should have a chance to play and make the images go wow. Adobe Photoshop is definitely an awesome program which I will always recommend but it's not always in everyone's reach. There are lots of free open source programs on the net to download and will allow you to have fun with your pictures. GIMP is one of them. 100% free open source program which can be downloaded off the internet. We will look at their website in a few minutes. You will find the program on the CD in the software folder if you have limited access to the internet. Let's look at a few important points before we kick off this adventure. We are going to keep things as simple as possible. We will open a picture, choose a tool and see the effect. Now comes a very important point. Practice, practice and you guessed it, practice. The three magic words. When you practice that which you will learn on these videos, it will become like second nature, almost like a musician practicing an instrument. Without practice, you will never develop this new skill. Finally, don't be afraid of the software. By opening a picture and pushing the sliders to the max, you will learn what the tools can do. This is a nice visual way of learning. You can always undo the effect or just close the file and open it again. Next up we will look at the GIMP website. So open your web browser and go to www.gimp.org that's G-I-M-P dot O-R-G. Now you will get a site similar to this because um, when I did this video the current version was GIMP 2.6 so it might have changed and you can now download the latest version of the software. So just go to the website and just look for download. It says here download. It's got a button here for download. So I'm just going to click on that. And then you will get a screen that will tell you that you can download version 2.6.11 or whichever version will be at that current time. And you just click on that and you download the software. Or you can look for it on the CD which is much easier. And you can also download the manuals or anything of interest. So have a quick rundown for the website. There's lots of interesting stuff here. After you have installed the software and you run it for the first time, you will notice it takes some time to open up. This happens only once as the software is searching for data files, fonts, etc. Be patient and wait for the program to open up. When it finally opens up, you will get something similar to this. Now I have set up GIMP the way I like to use it, so yours will look a little bit different. I will explain it now in more detail. And the reason I set it up specifically is to basically save me lots of time. The reason is, for instance, I will show you now a few tips or to open a picture, how to navigate the picture. Of course, if I open a picture in 2 seconds and you open a picture in 30 seconds, that's 28 seconds that I've saved take that over a few thousand pictures in a year, you've saved yourself a very nice long weekend which you can rather spend taking pictures outside than sitting in front of the PC and just clicking to get to the same end result. So before we go to the next lesson which, which will be on levels, let's quickly set up our GIMP to be more user friendly. Now what I've done is I've separated the program into three sections. I've got my toolbox right here and I've got the main window which will be where the picture will open up every time. I've got in the middle and then to the right side I've got my layers, channels and brushes and everything. Now you'll notice that all the blocks can be moved around and they can be extended. If I go to say for instance this block right here you'll notice there's my mouse pointer and when I take it to the edge it allows me to click there and actually drag the block bigger and smaller which is very nice. So you can have a similar look to this by just positioning all your blocks and dragging them exactly where you want them. Now the reason why I put this block in the middle is that when you open a picture and this main window is set to full screen, the layers and the toolbox blocks will be over your picture. So when you move around the picture there will always be a certain section of it that will be below these blocks which is very irritating. So if you put this in the middle then your picture will be only here and these options will be to the sides which is much easier to work with. Now now we will look at how to open a picture. 
normally people will go to file at the top and they will go to open and then they will search for the picture which takes forever I've got a much easier way and if you go to your Windows Explorer now I'm using Windows 7 I'm not sure which operating system you'll be working on but normally in Windows when you press the Windows button on your keyboard and you press that with the E button E for echo you will get a Windows Explorer and then you can go to wherever you put your pictures if it's in a specific folder or maybe in my pictures go to the folder where you've got your file now what I've done is I've taken one picture and I've put it in a little block or in a folder which I called sample for GIMP course now I'm using Windows 7 so it'll, depending on your Windows it will be similar to this what's nice of Windows 7 is that you can click on this block right here you'll see normally your icons will be about that size you can click here and you go go extra large icons so if I had a few hundred pics I can just scroll through all the pics look for the specific one I want now when I want to open it I just click on the picture and I just drag it over to the program and then I let go of the mouse and you'll see there there will be a block of a little plus inside that's telling me that I've got a picture I want to throw down into the program which I basically want to drag and drop as they call it so I'm just going to let go of my mouse and there I've got my picture now as you can see like I said earlier my picture is only going to be from here to here in this section if it was full screen my picture could have gone below these blocks that's why I like to have this block in the middle now that's time saver number one how to open your pictures quickly Next up we're going to look at navigating the picture. In Photoshop there's something which I always love to use and that's called the navigator. I've got it right here and it's called display navigation. I will go into detail to why I use this and how to get it because it's not usually there the first time you install the program. Now normally if you were to zoom on your picture you will go to this zoom tool right here and then you would click on the picture and every time you click the picture will zoom in and then you can use the slide at the bottom to move left or right or the slider right here to move up and down and then when you want to to zoom out you hold down the control key and you click while holding it down and it zooms out again now well, it looks quite easy to do it but it takes a lot of time when you've got this display navigation added you can easily just either take the slider and just zoom in and zoom out as you can see it can zoom pretty far into the picture or you can take this plus and minus right here and just click and it zooms in and out you don't need to hold down anything you just click now the very nice part is where you actually move in the image you don't need to use these sliders anymore if you look at this block right here this white block this block is showing me what I'm seeing right here so if I move this block around it's going to be moving around in a picture isn't that very nice now to get this display navigation and also this will work when you've accidentally hide something that you don't want say for instance you've closed that right there if I close this I lose this entire bar and you can close the program and open it up again it'll still be gone you won't be able to get it back the only thing that you can do is to go to Windows at the top, click on that, and then you can go to Dockable Dialogues, and you can actually just click on that which you want, and you can get it back. Or, if you don't have this, I can now take this, and I can say Close Tab. There you can see the navigation is hidden. So I've got two, oh it's not hidden, it's just taken away. I've got two options to get it back. I can either go to Windows, to Dockable Dialogues, and go click on navigation then I'm going to get a block like this or I can close that and I can go to this little option right here and I can click on that tab and I just say add tab and I go down to navigation again then it's within this window and you can just jump between your layers here's my layers and the navigation because this is the two I work with the most so this really saves you a lot of time to actually navigate the picture and if you for instance lose something and you don't know how to get it back it's very easy it'll either be on one of these tabs or just go to Windows and you'll get it back in no problem 
Um, that's it for setting up GIMP. In the next video, we're going to look at levels.